now we will get started with our next assignment this assignment is an exciting one what we need to do in this assignment is we have to take a github repository for example this is sk learn github repository it has several code files several documentation files for example if i go to examples there will be some example code files for example uh, ensemble models there are several files for plotting there are several files for regression there are several files for decision trees there are several files svm so we have all these code files similarly if you go to any other github repository this is pandas github repository so the idea is we have to use rag for talking to any github repository we want to ask questions on the code files let us suppose there are several code files in this let us suppose if i ask a question what is the code for decision trees automatically our rack system the tool that we are going to build should give us that a code so we want to create a app that will fetch the relevant code and give us the final result in the form of that code so let us try to achieve this in this particular assignment so the background and objective this particular app that we are creating or the tool that we are creating is talk to your code so we want to talk to github repository talk to your code interact with your github repository using rag so what we need to do the user input data is github repository the user has to give this github repository as the input that's it any github repository which contains code basically then the user will ask the query related to the code that is there in that github repository if the question is not related to the code the answer should be no i do not know the answer the output should be retrieved code based on the user query whatever is the user queried based on that from the github repository our tool has to retrieve the code and the most relevant code it has to retrieve so the example input is let's say if i give sk learn this github repository as input and if the user query is what is the code for decision trees then our tool should give this as the answer the code for the decision tree can be found here this is actually the answer that i got when i completed this particular assignment so what do you need to do in this assignment step by step step by step procedure i have given obviously the code part of it i will remove you have to write the code but the steps that you need to follow to write the code have been already given to you using these instructions using the hints that i am providing here in this assignment you have to create this particular application once again what is objective of this application give the github repository as the input and try to extract or try to retrieve the code based on the user question that we are receiving from the user so install the packages as usual and then step 1 is first clone the github repository actually you can directly retrieve from the github repository that is a little complex one just clone the github repository get the complete github repository onto your local system if this is too big if the repository is too big then maybe we will give a restriction to the user that max to max 25 mb or 50 mb github repository should be accessed not more than that so initially you clone the github repository write the relevant code for it you have to install git python and then there is a way to clone the github repository i have cloned it to my local repository so these are all the instructions i will remove this code later on you have to follow these instructions and then write the code so this is the local directory all the the sk learn github repository after downloading it to local it will look like this this is my local copy of the repository that i have just shown you that was there on github now the repository is with us now we have to load the files now we are not interested in loading all the files i want you to load only dot py python files or later on you can extend this dot java files dot javascript files json files you can particularly load a particular type of files so you cannot use direct document loaders that are there in langchain you have to use something slightly different we want to load only python code files so you have to use this generic loader from there you have to use a python code files only it should be i mean those files only loaded do not load the complete one maybe in this example you can use this uh, github repository sk learn github repository do not use the complete uh, folder you can use only this uh, examples folder that should be fine try to load only examples folder once you have uh, got this file so i will try to mention the github repository as well while you are uh, executing this in the instructions itself i will give the address for this sk learn you can use it then once you load the files the python files once you load the documents the usual rag procedure load the document loaders followed by splitting the documents while you are splitting you cannot use a direct recursive character text splitter this is splitting the code so you have to specify from language and you can mention that when you are splitting so i have given already this hinted version of the code you can reuse it so try to make sure that you are mentioning while you are splitting you are mentioning you are using python following that once you have split the data into chunks what is the next step so this this is a sample chunk once you split the data into chunk this is how the data will look like 
uh, once you split the data into chunks, the next step is uh, embedding and storing the data into vector database. These are the steps that are instructions given to you for doing the embeddings and storing in the vector database. Once you embed and uh, once you create the embedding, store in the vector database, the final one is rack Q&A chain. We will ask a question. The user will ask a question. So I'm creating this code repo Q&A, which is uh, based on the large language model and the change type is stuff, retriever. I have just created the retriever. If the question is, what is the code for decision trees? The output comes like this. This is the code for decision tree. I am literally talking to this sklearn GitHub repository. What is the code for random forest? This is the code for the random forest. Not every time you may get the code as the output. Sometimes you may get the answer that I do not know the code, but largely it works. If there is code, if it is clearly written, if the comments and the explanation is there, then the large language model should be able to retrieve the code related to whatever questions that you have asked for. I hope you understood this assignment. This is a challenging assignment. It's definitely not easy, but it's not impossible. With multiple efforts, you should be able to complete this assignment. Ultimately, I will definitely give the solution to this, but I want you to kind of put a lot of effort before you give it up and look for the final solution. All the best.